can't just say bass playing because I'm a musician and an artist, uh, and I don't just say that because like you know like most people they're like oh I'm an artist and you know they they're full of themselves. It's not like that. It's just I kind of was born to like create things and like play and make music. It makes me happy. So I mean I could start from early age, five years old. I saw Kiss on Solid Gold and. I was kind of like, I want to do that, and I've always played music. As in, in my head, I've always thought I, you know, could do this, you know. And once the opportunity was there, my, you know, parents bought me a guitar. I had a, a little uh, a Kramer uh, <laughs> with a little Randall amp. I just practiced every day, every day, every day, and um, before you know it, I knew how to play. Music to me is kind of like life, you know, and bass playing is in that. Uh, same category as you know, life. I was a guitar player throughout my teenage years. When I was like 18 or 19 years old, I was playing in this band in a studio and it broke up and I was looking for something else and I was looking for a bass player. and. You know, bass players were hard to find, you know, it was like either someone didn't know how to play the bass and was trying to be a bass player or someone was a virtuoso and was trying to be like a lead guitar player on a bass at the time. So no one really was the meat and potatoes. You know, if you had a stew, you'll put like the bass and drums are the meat and potatoes and then the vocals and, gu and guitars are like the salt and pepper. If you have good potatoes and you have good meat, you can just add all the spices you want and it'll be a good meal. So I couldn't find someone that felt that way. So I just said, I'll pick up the bass and uh, easy to find a guitar player. And I did that for a little bit and then I linked up with Darren and we started System. So I just started playing bass. So I was playing bass like six months when I started playing bass with System. When I was a kid, I went to Guitar Center and uh, Ernie Ball was attractive. I mean, they just saw the package and it looked cool. And I remember, you know, I bought my first, it was green slinkies, right? Just got those, put them on, great strings. They weren't too expensive. No, I never changed, I just kept doing it. And then when our band kind of like, you know, started getting endorsements, I went with you guys because there's no other strings I play. So the way I set up my strings for a system is I get, because we tune down to C, like I'm tuned C, G, C, F. So instead of tuning down an E string, like a 100, you know, down to like C where it's gonna be all floppy, I use a 130, a B string, and I'll tune that up to a C, and then use the 85, 65, and 45 for the rest of the strings. It gives the highs when I need them, and it gives the ballsy lows when I need that, you know? sit there and write, um, I jam, and then things come out, then I'll pick and choose little parts that came out, and I'll work on those. I'm not a technical bass player. I'm not a solo bass player. I hear the drums, I hear the kick, and I'm with it. You know, I'm like on it, like, like glue with, with the drums. When I pick up a guitar, the first thing I do is like play like a fat, like metal riff. I'll do like a chunky riff. Something happened to me when I was a kid. I went to a Kiss concert and I was in the sixth row and I looked and I thought Gene Simmons looked at me and I'm, what, 40 something? I'm telling you that story, right? Well, I try to give that experience to a bunch of kids every night so they can, when they're 40, they can say, hey, that, that Shawa looked at me or something. You know, just give them that because they're there. So anyways, that connection that you get where like you're playing and you catch someone feeling it makes you feel it and it's like an energy cycle. So it's like, that's a show right there. Yes, 
creating music is great, have, uh, you know, good music, you have it on the album, but if you're playing live, anyone could go put the album and listen to it. So I think when you're playing live, it should be a show. The best part of doing what I do is um, being able to share your music with people. That being on stage and like the crowd, that's the best moment ever. Like on tour, it's the best thing. It's like you wait all day for that one or two hours at night. It's like, that's the thing, you know? Like you're waiting for that moment to like get out there. And that's the rush. Like the first time I got on stage, I knew this was it. Best feeling ever.